Hey, how's everyone going? And welcome back to the channel on this beautiful 4th of July. So super hot outside, probably 100 degrees out here in Florida. I got my fan going. See the fan? It's going and I'm going to get into the car. So like I mentioned on my last video, now that I got everything sorted, the car is running great. I can now focus on little things that are bothering me with the car that I feel like maybe I should, I should address, right? So first thing is something with the steering that I'm feeling and I'm going to show you exactly what it is. All right, people, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the video, but this is what I'm feeling and I'm thinking I have to replace. There is some movement. Can you tell there? I'm not sure. It doesn't do it up and down at all. So I don't think it's the wheel bearing. I believe it's the tie rods. So I, rep I, I bought some replacement ones and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to just replace the tie rod and see if that eliminates that extra play that I think that I've been feeling when I'm driving on a hard acceleration. I feel a little wobble. I don't think it's the axles. I don't think it's the tires. I think it's the tire rods. And let's see if that's what it is. So let's do that today. All right, wheels off. One of the things that I, I noticed right away is this has a lot of play. That should not be that easy to move. I had noticed some grease down here before I had wiped it off. So it's got grease leaking out. I'm, I'm thinking this is it. When I did the play back and forth, I, I want to say this is what the problem is. So I'm not doing a full video of how to do the job. I'm just going to do it and show you guys the results. Um, one of the tools that I use, if you guys don't already have it, pick one of these up, Harbor Freight, not expensive at all. I use this for all my ball joints and anytime I got to take stuff apart, um, this makes the job way easier. You slide it in through here and then you just apply pressure to that nut and it, it uh, separates it for you. So you don't have to smash it with a hammer or anything like that. It makes the job go real easy. All right, so just to kind of show you guys, can you see this? Oh yeah, I got sweat in my eyes. All right, can you see that nastiness right there? That's all the oil, right, and grease that came out of this, clearly broken. And that's moving around way too, too much, so. Um, looking at it now, I should have probably replaced the boot too on the inside. I didn't realize the boot ripped. Um, but I don't have a replacement one for that. So that'll be another video coming up. But for now, let me focus on these outside ones. And uh, eventually I'm going to change all this stuff out. So uh, I see it as more content, right? So uh, let me get this stuff out and uh, put that in. What's up, people? So I'm back at it. My uh, inner uh, tie rod came in so i'm in there already now it, the kit comes with a new boot because mine was ripped on the end so that just ripped off so i just snipped off the back piece and uh obviously the new piece and it comes with this little washer which is cool um make sure that you 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 replace that one the one in here clearly is broken the tabs broke off on it and this should not be this easy to move um, so hopefully this helps tighten up the, the steering a little bit more. Um, oh, and also I needed to rent this tool from uh, AutoZone because you need this tool to take off the inner tie rod. Um, all it does is it allows you to put, where's it at? Oh, a different kind of fitting. The kit comes with a bunch of these different sizes. You grab the one that you need that fits over here. And then this whole piece slides in. Right, that slides in there. Then I just use my my torque um, wrench to take it off. And there you have it. So new inner boot, new inner tie rod, new outer. Uh, I could have avoided doing the same job twice if I had looked and really saw that the inner was uh, damaged. Um, but I really wouldn't have known that till I really took it apart and gave it a little wiggle and saw that it was very loose. So, you know, learn from my mistakes. Uh, do them both while you're at it. That's the best advice I can give you. All right, this is the other side. I don't know if you guys can see this in the video. Can you hear that? Shouldn't do that. It doesn't do it top and bottom. You know, it does it side to side. I did the other side already. It doesn't do that anymore. Um, although, like I mentioned, I'm probably gonna change the inner on later on, but this should not, this is one that's way worse. And this is the one that I actually felt 
I felt like on the track at Sebring when I was making any turns that to the right, I felt more vibration when there was more of a load on this side. So let's swap this one on now. Next part of the project. You see that right there? And this, my friends, is actually a custom stencil I got made because I'm planning on putting Falcon on my tires and painting it. So we'll see how well that comes out. Um, I'm gonna use this paint right here, white paint. And the reason I got a stencil done was because I didn't wanna put the sticker on it and spray it and throw it away. And then God forbid, I have to buy another set of tires, got another set of stickers. And every time you get those stickers by the sets of four, they're about $35 plus tax. It was, I felt more cost efficient long-term to get a stencil made that I can use over and over and over again. Now let's just hope that I got the right measurements because I got this all custom done with a local shop that I use for a lot of my art stuff because uh, I am an artist as one of my stuff that I like to do. And they made this out of kind of like a like an eight, uh, PVC kind of plastic. So it's gonna be very usable over and over and over again. So let's let's see how it comes out. All right, so I'm taping it down. I'm gonna hit it a little bit. I'm gonna try to hold it down while I do it. And let's hope that it, it, it looks good. <laughs> let's hope it looks good, guys. I'm a little nervous. All right, this is the first one done. I like it, I'm digging it. Uh, believe it or not, I like the fact that it's faded a little bit. I don't like that super crispy, crispy look. This looks more track, cool. When I designed this, I designed it to it could sit right on this uh, lip right there. So when I lined it up, I lined it up to that. And I made it two and a half, no, two and a quarter inches tall. The lettering is two and a quarter inches tall. Um, so I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna do one on each tire for now. Eventually I might do two, but for now, let me throw one on it, see how it feels. And if I get bored, I think I wanna spice it up a little bit more because I wanna spice it. I'll add another one. <laughs> So you have it guys, I'm gonna wrap it up over here. Tires, I didn't show all this, but actually I did the tires twice. I ended up having to do the tires because the first time I did it, I used, man, what? The first paint I bought was, I thought it was gonna be good. I thought I prepped it well. Uh, after the first drive, it started flaking and I was like, all right, well, that ain't working for me. So I ended up pressure washing it, came off very easily, used a little bit of acetone this time, really wiped it down good. And I bought a different, I bought like a Krylon Fusion, I think is what it is. It's like a five times stronger adhesion. And that's what I've got on it right now. Um, so hopefully this holds up. If not, then I guess it wasn't meant to be, right? Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, like, subscribe, share. Let's talk about it. Peace.